All right, I'm down on the workbench here. I took one of these K1 sprayer heads off and I'm measuring the different uh, openings to try to figure out how they control the GPM and the uh, mixing ratio. Just measuring dimensions of the different openings. Let's take a closer look. So here's the main body of this particular K1. Uh, it's one molded piece of plastic other than this end here which is separately attached but uh, everything else is one piece so there's a water channel that goes right through the center and there's the hole where the water exits it's not a complete um, circle it's got a little uh, half moon or three quarter moon kind of shape to it. Must be part of their uh, design to get the water to spread apart rather than come out as a jet. On the bottom, there's an opening for the pickup tube. There's an opening for air. So anytime you, you know, take water out of the, uh, the container, you have to replace it with something. So there's an air opening there. So this is a device that just press fits into the side of the unit there that controls off water and on setting. And basically uh, in the off setting, this channel will be blocked. And as you turn, and as you turn the unit, here that open you can see starts to go towards the back and out the other side turns out that opening right there which again not a complete circle is 15 64 it's, that's the size drill bit I can fit through there now at the bottom of this you can see there's a kind of a gear set up and that gear setup will will align with this sliding device, which rides up and down inside of here in a channel. Now, at the bottom of this is where kind of the business end. The uh, one section when the when the unit is all the way back. So you have the knob turned this way because of that gear drive to force into the back. This opening here is what would be aligned with the holes in the pickup area. So and it's basically blocked. There's no there's nowhere for the fluid to go to go up inside the, the uh, metering channel. When you slide, <coughs> when you turn the knob, this would be this one here. So about the halfway point you'll end up hitting the water setting that will again not allow that last section there to uh, will not reach the center of the pickup tube area but it will be <clears throat> such that this will allow water to come through so you can get water through main through the main channel but no pickup action going on. It's only when you <clears throat> turn this all the way to the rear will that gear drive force this whole mechanism to the front and allow this metering hole here, which I have measured and I believe it's, I only have a uh, 0 0.03 drill bit very small one I've used for printed circuit board stuff. That does fit down through there, but there's a little slop. So I suspect it's 0 .04, 0 0.04 inches is the size of that open there. And maybe that 4 that's on the slider here actually indicates that's the size of the metering hole. But I'll have to verify that with some of the other ones that I have here that actually have a higher uh, mixing or higher... I guess it would be a lower mixing ratio. This one 
has of the ones I've tested, this one has the highest mixing ratio, meaning it has the more water for each ounce that's brought up through the bottle there. So I'll put it back together and you can kind of see how it works when it's put together. So when you slide up that sliding section in there on the bottom side, you'll see there's a, right here, it comes out here. So there's a little stop. So as you push it all the way forward, that's all the further it's going to go in. So if you want to take it out, you push that down and it'll all slide forward. So that's when that's the case, that's the uh, on setting. So when you put in the this device here, make sure you have it on the back here. That'll align the teeth properly. So that's the way it looks when you got it on the on setting is that sliders slid all the way forward. And then when we rotate it, when you rotate it towards the off position, it slides all the way back there. <clears throat> the one thing to notice is this is really just uh, pressed in. You're relying on the compression of that little flat rubber seat on this barrel itself going in to stop the flow from coming from the hose and coming out the side here. So that's one little defect I think is there's really uh, no no good way to uh, keep this piece in here. I think over time it could get loose and start to back out and start to leak through the side. So some people are asking about the principle. The principle is water comes in the inlet side and when you have the knob on on the water comes through that center channel there and it speeds up in the process of speeding up that causes a low pressure to build up right over this hole and you'll see if I can get in there closer there the that low pressure will actually suck up fluid from the container below and have it mixed in with the spray coming through the main channel here and uh, theoretically it'll equally mix with the water that's flowing through here so as it comes out in your spray it'll be evenly distributed throughout that stream uh, but that's the basic principle and they all kind of work this way the dial and spray kind of units that you see the only difference is their hole in their metering device which I measured here was uh, 0 0.04 they would be different hole sizes to get different mixing ratios this one is just a fixed mixing mixing ratio based on that size of that pickup hole there all right there you go talk to you later one little uh, thing I wanted to mention here is one thing I noticed on this particular one is uh, if you turn it on to the on setting, but you don't have it all the way back, it wasn't really mixing at all. So one thing you can do to find out really where in, where in this range here is that pickup hole aligning with the pickup tube is to take a small wire. In this case, I'm going to use my 0 0.03 bit. And you can see right now when I have it set on that point, it's not coming through. I've adjusted it so if I go all the way back to the stop and I insert this drill bit, it'll actually protrude through. The channel itself so I know that's exactly where I need to have that that's that setting here so if yours <clears throat> is off a little bit you might want to make a mark on the on the uh, side here to show exactly where you need that where you have to have this for that hole to be exactly aligned if you're off a little bit I mean, like I say if I'm up if I'm just like right up there it's not going to have the pickup lined up with that hole and you're not going to get any mixing. 
So that's one thing you can double check on yours if you're having problems.